<clears throat> Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play Fallout 2. In the previous episode, we had done... I think we went to Vault 15, wasn't it? We had finished everything in Vault 15, and I decided that I was going to go go ahead and take some time to... Uh, kind of like, check, see what I should probably be doing, etc. And I think I've decided I'm going to go ahead and head over to New Reno to go ahead and deal with Bishop real quick before I head back to uh, um, the NCR to uh, kill Bishop to uh, turn in the kill Bishop quest for Weston alright so that is the goal for right now we'll see how well it goes because the last time I tried to do anything like that I got my ass handed to me. Maybe it'll go better this time. I want to go to... Oh, what's it called? New Reno. And hopefully it's not as bad now because we dealt with those raiders. Yes, I was the one who killed your raiders. Uh oh. Do you wish to encounter a band of slavers and some dogs? Nah. Yeah, that's definitely an out outdoorsman. Chosen. Chosen. Do you hear me? The village dies. All of our futures die too. We have little left in both time and essence. I'm working on it. Hurry. Hurry. I am legitimately right next to this vault. I just need to figure out how to get to it. I promise. I promise. Oh, jeez. I don't need... No, I don't need a... Hey, it's Iguana Bits. I know this place. I think I know this place. Who was selling Iguana Bits? Well, regardless, I don't need to be here. I'm escaping. Nope. Bye-bye. Thank you. That was easy enough. Who was selling iguana bits in the last one? I think it was Frank. Well, it says Bob's iguana bits, so obviously his name was probably Bob. But that was an easter egg to, I think, the hub from the first game. The hub. Then again, I suppose the hub would be south, even further south of uh, where what's it called? Vault City is. Well, not Vault, C Vault City, the NCR base. Because if the NCR base is where Shady Sands used to be, then uh, the hub and all those would have been further south of that. Jeez, it's been a while since we've been to any of those places. It'll be the Shady Sands, it was uh, Vault 15 and 13, obviously, we're both right there. And, hmm. If you went southern from that, it was, what, dry water or. Something water. Yeah, the den. Or not the den, the hub. What else did you have? Of course, there was the glow, but that was way further down. I need to adjust my mic because it is like really close to my face. I hope that's better. Oh, no, it's still. There we go. There we go. I don't want to attack any of you dogs. I swear. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. One more go. 
Yeah, my immediate goal right now is to get to Vault 13 because obviously my people aren't lasting until I decide I want to go deal with Vault 13. Oh, come on. I don't want to deal with you rad scorpions either. Now I've been poisoned. See, now that's rude, sir. I could probably just wait for the poison to go away, though, to be honest. Come on now. Don't give me this. I need to get to Vault 13. I don't know where it's at, but I need to get to it. Alright. Second Street first is was it Second Street? I think it was Second Street. Shark Club. I'm pretty sure this was the place I need to go. Excuse me. Alright. Who's all here? Reno town folk. No, I think I want to go upstairs. Who's that? It's a prostitute. Of course it would be. Oh, it's Miss Bishop. I don't think we ever talked to her last time. Hello. Turns to face you, she is quite attractive with a low-cut dress made out of gold gecko skin. She studies you for a moment and frowns. Yes, what is it? Who are you? I think I should be the one asking that question. She crosses her arms. I am Leslie Ann Bishop. My husband is the head of the Bishop family here in New Reno. And you are? I am a traveler looking for Vault 13. Have you heard of it? I'm a traveler. Do you know where I could find something called a yada yada yada? Uh, my name is Daniel. So, Daniel, what, pray tell, do you think I could do for you? Can you tell me about Mr. Bishop? My husband, he is the head of the Bishop family in matters of diplomacy, business, and criminal pursuits. He possesses a certain animal cunning that one cannot but admire, however contemptible his other qualities. Other qualities? She, I'll leave that to your imagination. Looks irritated. Is that all... I actually had some other questions. Yes. About the Bishop family. There's really nothing to say about the Bishop family. Oh, there is this... The extended family of hired thugs, mercenaries, whores, pushers, and slaves. That is really all the Bishop family amounts to. Sounds as if your marriage life isn't as healthy as it could be. No, my husband is in the business of accumulating power. That seldom leaves room for anything else. In addition, my precious daughter has quickly learned what being a woman means in New Reno. Your daughter, Angela? Yes, my daughter. She has become quite the little tramp. Uh, like mother, like daughter. Now, is that all? I actually have some other questions. Uh, have you ever heard of a place called Vault 13? Vault City to the northeast. It's that... Is that the place you're referring to? No wrong place. Well then, I'm afraid I can't help you. Do you know anyone who might know? The people of Reno have enough difficulty remembering which whore they left their cocks in when they wake up in the morning, much less how to find anything such as what you describe. Alright. Uh, how about a gack? But it will do you a little good. It's already been used. Alright. Uh... Have you ever been to Vault City? It's northeast of New Reno. They had such a kit once long ago, but they used it when they left their vault for the surface. Alright. Alright, I better get going. Hold on a moment. You seem to be new in town. Would you care to join me for a drink in my chambers? We can discuss New Reno. It's a dangerous place to those unfamiliar in its ways. Sure, a drink would be welcome. No thanks. No way. I'll make your I work for your husband, especially if it wouldn't be right. Uh sure, we might be able to learn some new information. Very well, follower. We also might die. For a drink in her chambers, the two of you talk for a while, then she comes over and starts Oh I 
I might die. Nope. Oh, okay. So we, we love make. At the end of your uh, sexual marathon, curls up against you smiling contently. Tell me about your husband, your daughter, your fa Ah, now she'll actually tell us about it. This is interesting. Okay. You're not from New Reno, are you, Miss Bishop? You talk differently than a lot of people around here. Uh, tell me about your husband. Must we talk about him? Let's not tr ruin the mood. Okay, then how about your daughter? Sleep with any tribal that shakes her... <laughs> this peace pipe at her. Alright. You're not from New Reno. You talk different. It's called an education. She rolls over. Go to sleep. I'm gonna get an education. You're already as smart as I want you to be. Now go to sleep. If you're pumping me for information, then you're creating a deficit. Deficit? Here in the bed, I did not. <laughs> Slip out of bed quietly. Okay, then. Haha, -ha, I slept with your wife. Now I'm going to come in and kill you. Wow. Okay. That was an interesting experience, wasn't it? I had a counter offer. Let me show you what it is. Not yet. I've got a few things to take care of first. I came back to tell you I won't be doing the job. Forget it. I got a counter offer. And it involves destroying you and your men. Do I need to reload? Probably. Yep, I did. Goodbye. Well, that didn't work like I wanted it to. Hit for seven points. That's not so bad. Hit for three. Or five. Alright, they're not doing too much damage. Okay, he did because he was right up close to me, though. Oh, stop. Goodbye. Man was hit for 57 hit points. He's gotta be critically wounded. Yeah, he's almost dead. And then I will walk out of the room so they're forced to actually come attack me. Because if they can't see me, they can't do it. Ah, I used a stim pack, you jerk. I might need to get some stim packs, actually. Hit for 12. And I'll go around the corner. Or actually, if I stood in the doorway, he wouldn't really be able to attack me. I think I'll stand right here. Turn. Eat punks like you for breakfast. Of course you do. Burst attack. I can burst through all of them, probably. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. He was hit for 51 hit points. 12 and was killed. Right on. It's going pretty well so far, I'd say. And of course he would use a stem pack, but... Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't you dare. Don't do it. Whoo. Do I have anything I could use? Oh, jeez. This is gonna be close. Oh, jeez. That got way too close for comfort. Oh, I can't use that. Can I use you in battle? Yeah, I can't do that in combat. I don't think so. I'll eat it. Guanas on a stick. I think that restores some health. Oh, it doesn't. Not in this. Okay. I think I was thinking of Fallout 3. Or that actually restores some health. 
Oh, jeez. Ooh! He used a super sim pack. That's rude. And I'm dead. Ooh, and I didn't save when I got here. Oh, Lame. Uh, I've got a long walk to go back to. I'll be. I actually might look for some stem packs while I'm here. Not the maintenance center. It'd probably be in the amenities office. Is there any way I could get some stem packs off of you? Do you have any stem packs? I'd appreciate it if you had some stem packs. Uh, yeah, he does. Right on. How many do you? How much? 220. No, I wanted them all. I don't think you understand. That would be about a thousand. Okay. What else do we have here? First aid, Dean's Electronics, Books of Science. Some Rad X right away. Ammunition, obviously. Metal Armor Mark II. What kind of metal armor do I have? I think it's only Mark 1. Anywho, let's see, what can I do here? How much are you? Ooh, just about right. Right on. Um, let's see here. Don't need any of those. Ooh, that's... I'm not selling that for that. No way. Although, I might be able to... How much is that just normally? I keep forgetting I could just scroll. 700? Okay, not bad. It's a start. Although, I guess the other was more expensive. And I can get that out of my inventory. Uh... Huh. How about you? I'll put it at a thousand. I don't want to go that far yet. Eight fifty. Eight ninety. And then I guess I could just probably give him some extra change. Call it good. Let's see. That would be twelve. And done. There you go. That is my offer, and then I can... Let's go ahead and see what you have. Anything else I might be able to use? Anything? Well, I mean, obviously I could grab all those, but... Eh, 908. <laughs> Pretty much exactly the same price. Anyway, talk. I think I'm good for now. Honestly, wish I could find some more stim packs, but, you know, what can you do? We could try retry this, uh, encounter with Mrs. Bishop, actually. Let's go ahead, we'll save. Let's retry this encounter with Mrs. Bishop. Alright, go on. Bunch of hired thugs, yada yada. South to the NCR, Reading, to rent my body to miners. Drop 
True. Okay. What happened at Vault City? John happened. I used to live there. He visited once I was pleasantly charmed because he was so rough. I guess different from most Vault citizens. Of course, he let me try this little thing called Jet. Oh. Bill in Vault City, of course, the other citizens found out and revoked my citizenship. John was the only one I could turn to. He knew that, of course. He planned the whole thing. So you got your education of Vault City, that's why you sound so different than anyone here. They had memory enhancers for the Pit Boys there, had dictionaries and encyclopedias stored on them, took one of the lingual enhancers when I left, thought I... Though I don't know why. Where is that enhancer? It's in my safe, not much use without a Pit Boy though, don't know why I still keep it. Can I have it? Sure, if you want it, combination 4628, the answer is in a compartment at the bottom of the safe, a thief isn't going to find it unless they know what to look for. How do I use it? Just attach the headgear, place the optic sensor over your right eye, then connect the other end. So the pit boy, you feel a slight rush, some nausea, then your head will feel clearer. Thanks, say, hey, yada yada. Daughter. Alright, slips out of bed. Well, that's interesting. I think this is Mr. Bishop's room, though, isn't it? It's locked. Isn't this Mr. B no, it was the one at the far end, wasn't it? Hmm. Lock pick this. Forty six twenty eight. Open it. Ooh. There's a lot of stuff in here that I can take. Including two stim packs. Good, 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 good. I'll just take it all. Yada yada. Boom. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and save again. Now I guess I'm stuck here. Okay, so... Let's see here. I can go in there and kill him. Which, granted, I could probably, if I'm lucky enough, throw in a couple grenades, maybe? I managed to get some some damage right off the bat. Let's see. What can I manage to do here? Eight percent, thirty six, negative two. Apparently, I'm still garbage at this, but we'll see what happens. 36. Get wrecked, son! I'm gonna wreck some people. Or die. Whichever happens first. Goodbye. Set for 56 points. That was some massive damage. Of course, he's gonna use a stem pack like a jerk. You gotta be nearly dead. Almost dead. Right on. This is the best part. Yeah, sure. Honestly, the guys in there don't seem bothered, really. 
Miss Bishop. Bishop, wake up. I didn't shoot her, did I? Yeah, she's unhurt. I'll take all your stuffs. Hello, Mr. Bishop. You weren't expecting me today, were you? Goodbye. 17 hit points. That wasn't as impressive as I thought it would be, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I'm gonna dance with your grave. Well, I'm gonna murder your face. Used stem pack. Why am I not doing, like, 50 points of damage? You're legitimately right in front of me. Get wrecked, son. Why aren't you doing that much damage? That's weird. Of course, you could have used a lot of stem bags. Like a jerk. Hmm. Get wrecked. Serious wound. 30 damage. Are you almost dead? He looks wounded. Sure. Reload. Of course he's gonna use- Oh, he reloaded. I was about to say, another stem back. How many do you have? Fifteen. Severely wounded. You two still don't seem that bothered. I'm just gonna kill your boss. You know, I might go ahead and just smack him twice. Of course he used another st super stim pack. Maybe I'll just... 60... Yeah, that's gonna be doing way more damage. Get wrecked, son. And he's down. Next guy up. Please. Thirteen hit points. So once again, it's gonna be just smack him twice. Call it good. Boom. Boom. Do all of you bloody... They all had stim packs, but I would like to make the comment I am kind of annoyed at the fact that I got all these stim packs and I probably won't have to use really any of them now. No, I don't want to move it. Like, I got all of these, right? But this one turned out so much better than the previous in encounter that it's ridiculous. That's all. You have a pet iguana. That sounds interesting, but I'd like to meet him. How are you not dead yet? Almost dead. There we go. Next guy up. Can I burst and kill you? No, nope, not really. You brought a knife to a gunfight, sir. I don't think it's going to go that well for you. gonna feed you to the dogs. Now hopefully I don't have to fight my way out of the entire place, I would hope. Use the stem pack, of course he did. But the guys downstairs might be hostile as well, which would be rather interesting to deal with. 
You dead? Good. I think that's it. That is everyone. Take all your stuffs. I think that's the same dude. Take your stuff. Hello, Miss Bishop. Killed your husband. <laughs>